Hey guys, do you want to make your server look like this? If yes, then this video is for you. In this video, guys, I'm going to be covering everything you need to know to make a clean, good looking server and functional, of course. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let's get started. Step number one, choose yourself a good template. For that, you can check my other video on my channel about this topic, link will be in the description and you'll be finding plenty of templates to choose from. Now, starting from scratch is also an option, but it's so much easier to already start from something. So for this video, I'm gonna be choosing this one, advanced support server, and this is how it looks like. Here are the channels, the roles as well. And we're going to be using this template right here. You need to log in. Let's put a name. We're going to be putting Gamers Lounge because why not? And let's create the server. Go to Discord and this is how it looks like. Now you can delete these default sections right here. Make sure to customize everything within this template. If you don't want to, you can leave it like this. It's already good enough. And here are also the roles that you can modify as well. Step number two, find some useful bots for your server. I do also have another video on my channel covering some of them. And the first that you'll need is a bot that will be in charge of security. Uh, I do recommend you using a raid protect. I also have it on my own discord server and it's only dedicated for protection. It has a captcha. It also gives a role automatically, or you can also use Yag PDP, which is an all-in-one uh, Discord bot. It has tons of features and also comes with a verification section, which also has a CAPTCHA. Then go ahead and choose whatever interests you the most. You can choose some Discord bots for music, uh, free Nitro, uh, and there are plenty of different ones from entertainment to protection, to moderation, to everything. And I cover some of them, as I said, on another video on my channel. But of course, you can also check for yourself on the internet, YouTube, whatever. Now, let me quickly show you how I set up Raid Protect. So I just click on Add, select my server, continue, authorize. It automatically has the administrator role. Go back to the Discord server. And now we're gonna be customizing the bot role. So let's go into server settings, roles, scroll down and there we go bots and for this we're going to be adding an emoji just to enhance it a bit let's search for a robot emoji there we go copy paste and also add a dash in between save changes and let's assign the role there we go and let's also assign a role for myself there we go now to set up the bot write in interrogation point setup and as you can see it's initialized and it also generated a logs section which we're going to be moving down to the staff category now let's enable the captcha interrogation point captcha enable is the command it's enabled and automatically it created this section verification, which should be only visible to people that don't have a role. And automatically we're gonna be assigning a role to members. So integration point, captcha, auto role, and the role which is members in my case, which actually needs to be below bots in the roles settings. So now it's enabled. And once you join the server, you just have to complete a CAPTCHA right here and you're gonna be assigned automatically a new role. As an example, here is my server with all the bots that I do have. Also, make sure that in the bots roles, you just assign an administrator as a permission for them. Step number three, theme your own server. So apart from all the aspects that come with your template, you must also come up with a theme. So choose yourself a color that will be the base of your server. This will also be used for your logo, banner, uh, embeds, and embeds are very important. I also do have another video again on my channel that covers embeds, 
And these can be used, for example, uh, in a rules section, uh, announcements and more. So let me quickly show you an example on my server. Now, I know it's kind of lame, but I searched for gamer logo on Google and this is the one that I found and we're gonna be downloading this and putting it on our server. So server settings and change icon, select the image and save the changes. And now I'm gonna be making a rule section. Uh, this is the information that appears from the template. Make sure to also read that. Uh, this guy also recommends some bots, but we're gonna be deleting everything and renaming the channel to rules. Save the changes. And now the rules are not going to be written as a message. We're gonna be using disco hook to make an embed. So first we need to create a webhook in integrations, create webhook. And there is one by default called Captain Hook. We're going to be renaming it to Embed Hook. By the way, this name is going to be appearing when you output the embed. Now, as I said, make sure to check my video about embeds because I cover many different ways of customization. You can customize your embeds in so many different ways, but in this video, I'm just going to quickly cover on how to do it. So. We're gonna be only using one embed. As you can see, there are two. We're gonna be deleting the second one. And let's also change the title to rules, delete this. And now let's change the color to match the one that is on our logo. In this case, it's orange. And let's search for a simple Discord rules template. So I just click on the first link that appeared. Now, this website, there are so many different rules, but I'm not going to be copying every single one of them. As you can see, there are like 30, 40, 50, who knows? We're only going to be selecting 10 of them and paste. And once you're done, you can just click on send and it's going to be sending it in the rules channel. And there we go. This is how it looks like. And that's pretty much it. Step number four. Test the roles to see for yourself how it will look like for the upcoming members. For this, you can either use an alt account or I'm gonna be showing you an easy method on how to do it. So for that, just go into server settings, go to roles, select the role that you want to test. In my case, I want to test the members. Scroll down until you see this view server as role. And as you can see, it limits the amount of sections that you can see. So that's pretty good. Now, as you can see, we also have this verification channel. Make sure to change its permissions for at everyone. Make sure that view channel is on and for members off, because once you manage to do the verification, you shouldn't be able to see that section anymore. And step number five, which is the last one on this list, make sure to invite your own friends and also advertise it as much as possible on so many different platforms, on Reddit, on YouTube, on Facebook, on you name it. And once you complete all these steps, you're good to go. You have a clean Discord server. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, don't forget to write them down below. See you in the next one. Goodbye.